Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am Joe Usual and this is The Long Dark. Once again, we are going to go ahead and we're going to head back to Mystery Lake and I'm going to get everything prepped so we can get ready to go to Black Rock. And the reason we're going to Black Rock, uh, kind of forced to ask why we're going to Black Rock today, uh, is because we, uh, I, want to, I want to make sure I got everything that I can get in Black Rock. There's one spot in Black Rock that we did not uh, explore. And that's the uh, radio tower, or no, the radio area in the on the back side of Black Rock. We haven't been there yet, so that's where I'm going to go ahead and go. But in the meantime, let me go ahead and pop out chat right quick so we can go ahead and get going right now. By the way, if you're still sticking around watching this video, thank you very much for watching me. I appreciate it. Usual's Coffee Club in the morning is in effect. All right, guys. So um, let me go ahead and pop this out here. Hang tight. Bo, roll with me here, man. There we go. All right. So, uh, good morning, Big Ron. How you doing? Uh, Chad Wright's in the house. Canadian Guy 18, Counterforce, Andrea, and Ian are all in chat right now. They said something before the live stream started. So, oh, it's dark. I'm afraid of the dark. Okay, it's almost light. How much food do I have on me? Not much. Um, we have 36 cattails, and I see I have some burdock as well as an emergency uh, you know, rations if I need it. But right now we are on day 330, guys. We only have 170 days left until I hit my 500-day mark. So I'm super excited about that. We're getting closer, closer as we go. Um, and so what, what episode is this? 50? Is it 59? Something like that? I don't know. Anyway, so let's go ahead and let me drink some water. And also, guys, uh, so we're not going to have probably any long dark next week, uh, just so you know. I've got two games that are coming out that are that are on the table that are needed. I need to be able to play these games, so because, um, and we'll be talking about that tomorrow, because um, they all start on Tuesday, on Tuesday. And today's, uh, if you don't know, if you're watching this later on, uh, today is Sunday, so um, give your perspective. All right, so that's going to be 46. I don't know what the weather's looking like. We're at 92 out of 99 pounds. Hmm. Is there anything I want to do? Let's check our... But while we're here and what, what, where there's cloth, let's go ahead and let's check our clothing and see if I need to fix any of my clothes. Hey, Thomas, how you doing, bud? 72, 70. We could probably fix those. Probably fix those, too. Is there actually a hidden achievement for certain number of days survived, like 500? Yeah, there is. Um, if you, for any, uh, for any run of in any survival um, version of this game, if you hit 500 days, you get an achievement. You do. As a matter of fact, here, let me let me show you right quick. I know this is not me playing the game, but oh, hang on, hang tight. Let me pop this out. One second. Um, hang on. Library. Uh, by the way, I've got 3,272 hours in the game. All right, so let's see. Leap of Faith, Enemy for Life. Where is it? These are all the uh, the the ones that I've got. Survive 500 days in a single survival mode game right there. It's right there. I unlocked that on in 2020 on September 25th. Uh, there's a few I haven't gotten. Wait. Oh, no. There's a few I haven't gotten. Snowden Sniper, Exploration, uh, the ch uh, it says complete every challenge. I have completed every challenge, but when I changed up my computer a couple of years ago, it reset all my, all, my, uh, all my achievements. And Faithful Cartographer. And then five hidden achievements, which are in the story mode, which we haven't done. If I redo the story mode, well, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to look those up and we're going to get those. So and I'd like to get 100% on this game before I, put, before I shelve it uh, in, a number of in a couple of years, but we'll see how it goes. Anyway. All right, let's go ahead and let's, um, I'm going to pull a couple of these. Really don't have to worry about going out this early because it's really cold out there, but. I think we might have a blizzard, actually. I hear the wind whipping. Let me see. Oh, no, it's good. You know what? Never mind. I think I, I'm going to grab that stuff. We're going to fix our, clo our clothes later. Let's just get out of here. I need to get to Mystery Lake. And the reason we're going back to Mystery Lake is I want to make sure I have plenty of arrows. I want to make sure that I have plenty of... I, I've got a ton of uh, fuel over there. And I want to make sure 
that you know I've got fuel for my lantern all the way I want to fill that all the way up we could stop and go fishing but that's gonna take a lot of time this would be a lot shorter amount of time for me to go over and just grab my my fuel and then I want to make a good chunk of of 100% uh, torches and the reason we want to do that is because we're gonna go into a black rock and black rock's got a lot of, of, of timber wolves a lot of timber wolves and uh, we're gonna need those torches to um, keep the timber wolves at bay and I've got extra flares in my cave over at mystery lake it's our home base so it's always been our home base it'll always be our home base because it's a place where you can rest relax decompress you don't have any have to worry about any wolves or any other predators back there in the in the ravine area you got stony sniper a couple of weeks ago I, I i i you know i hate you kind of force no i love you but i but i you know it's like i've been i i tried for a while to get that and i just gave up after a while you know i don't like giving up normally i'm stubborn about things you know look at the slow growth of my channel you can see how stubborn i am because <laughs> i mean let's face it man it's like but when i when i when i decide it's over it's over it's done okay you know it's like i'm either all in or i'm not i'm either 100 100 percent or or zero so okay so do i want to stop in Get some food. If I want to stop in at the barn or not. You know what? I think we can hit I think we can make it to the to the cave without too much of an issue. I've got food back at my cave too. Till the cougar arrives. Yeah, so um word on the street, and when I, on the street I mean on the internet internet, interwebs, uh, is that uh Hinterland's gonna have an update here coming up before too long if that happens and it's the big one we may this road this this ride might might come to a full immediate halt because if i have to restart my game because there's a, a really huge update then it might kill all, it might kill this run but you know what if we have to start a new run we have to start a new run i'm not going to start a new run unless hinterland tells me i have to but if they tell me i have to then that then, then i have to right so we'll see. You wonder what the cougar hide is good for. I mean, who knows? I'm hoping when they put the cougar in, they put the trader in. That's my dream. That's my hope. And it's probably going to be really super difficult to kill. And the hide's probably going to be worth quite a bit to the trader. I really want to see them put in uh, daily quests or weekly quests or monthly quests or just a quest that the hunter says, look, if you if you go and get me X amount of these pelts or X amount of this amount of meat or, you know, this many uh, uh, saplings or what have you, um, I will give you this as a reward or, you know. You know, he has, you know, a laundry list of items that changes over a certain a certain amount of time that he has for trade. And, you know, maybe you maybe you uh, he has, you know, that, that that coffee you need or maybe he's got a stim. A stim would be super expensive because, you know, there's uh, medical medicals uh, items are super rare. You know what I mean? Especially in the apocalypse. It's about time we get an update. I mean, you know. I think we, sh you know, I mean, they're they're being slower than they than they said they were going to be, so um, yeah. But I'm not complaining because we, I mean, we play this game quite a bit. So, Brooklyn Bella, how are you? Good to see you. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead. I think I'm gonna sleep because I'm I'm gonna be tired. Sleep for an hour and get warmed up. Oh yeah, no no no, she's fine, Bella. She's fine. She had she 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 just threw her back out. Is all you know how it is the older you get the worse it gets she's fine i'll let her know you ask about her though i'm gonna eat some cattails 
I don't think I'd run out of calories before we reach the cave, but I want to make sure we have plenty. Um, also, I said I was going to take tomorrow off. I'm not taking tomorrow off, guys. Um, and I'm not going to be doing those videos on the other game because they, they, I'm not going to promote a game that, that I feel like is, is, um, is not worth your time. So, and speaking of 100% in or 0% in, um, the game I'm talking about is that, is that MMORPG that I played the other, the, or this last week for three days. I'm going to leave it unnamed because I don't want to piss off the de or any developers in it anyway, but um, you know which one it was if you watch my channel. Um, we're not going to play it because the grind is literally a Korean difficulty grind. If you don't know what, what I mean by that, um, Korean MMORPGs are known for having uh, uh, such a di difficult grind that it takes you hours, if not a day, or however long to uh, to you know gain a level. And that's the kind of grind that this game has. Now, while I was playing it in the early stages of like the first five or six or seven levels, it was fine, which is why we kept playing it for three days. But then when I hit when I hit a certain point. I, I, I saw that there was it was going to be it was going to take me probably a, a, like four days to get you know, to get off of their newbie island. I'm not doing that unless I'm dedicated to just that game. We don't have time for that. I'm, I'm, I'm I, I ain't nobody got no time for that. I'm I, you know I'm a I'm a variety streamer for the most part. Now if I find a game I really like and it does well on the channel, we might stick with it. You know, I'm, I've always been, you know, I've been looking for that, for that, that, that one magical game that I could stick with for a couple of years that does really well on the channel. This one, this, this game's been good to me, but, you know, always on, I have my eyes open for, you know, that, that one game that the community just grab it, you know, just, it just clicks with you guys and, uh, and a big chunk of my, of my subscribers want to, want to watch more. So, hopefully in this next week we're going to find one of those games. I'm always looking for that game. Have yet to find one that's not that that is uh, had the response that the, that the Long Dark has, but it's okay. Ark used to be that game, but evidently um, this new version of Ark uh, has some tw uh, some issues that I did not realize it had. And now I'm being, I'm being shredded by the by the community, so that's okay. I think I fixed it. If you don't know what I'm talking about, don't worry about it. It's fine. Uh, having standing order for like clothing uh, or, or or rose hips and next week lichen or something. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. I that's what I'd like to see. I don't know that they're going to implement that sort of thing or not. They're pretty thorough when they're when their game development in this game, so I'm expecting that it'll be something like that. Because I don't know why they, I don't think that they would just throw in uh, this random trader uh, out of nowhere and not give him something that would make it worthwhile for you to come back time and time and time again, besides just a, an inventory. You know what I mean? Morning, Coom. How you doing, bud? I've got four bandages. We'll use that. That's fine. I'm so... You're going to see a, a hazy edge around my... My vision, but that's because I'm in pain. They couldn't, Tamarack. They couldn't do that because of the uh, because of the way it was coded. They had to update it. They had to create a new game. They didn't have a choice. And the... Uh, 
what do you call it? The um, the upside for them was they, they they had the opportunity to resell a game that they already had. I think I'm done with Ark, though. I think I'm done with Ark. I don't think I'm going to play any more Ark. I think that my last video was my last video. Because of the, uh, because of the, the, the vitriol that I, that I, I, I have had to endure. If you go to my last video, you'll, you'll see some of the comments. The worst ones, I just, I just got rid of those people. Because they're just, they're just nasty. Some people got really, really mean. And, uh. You know, maybe rightfully so uh, for, to be upset about that video, but um, but you can go too far in a comment. If you go too far, you're just off my channel for good. Now, every few years, uh, my caveat to that is every few years, everybody that I've ever banned will come back. I will I I will, I will, I will, I will strip, I get all, I take all my bands and I will undo them every, about every two or three years. Okay, it's not quite time to do that yet, but uh, it will happen. So eventually, if you become banned on my channel, you won't be banned down the road because I will. Do, I, I believe in, in in new choices. So and people gr uh, will grow with time. You might be a fourteen-year-old punk-ass kid and, and turn around and say something that that maybe maybe you were having, or maybe you're just having a bad day. Maybe you're just having a bad day. And uh, and you got you went a little overboard, and I and I took you off my channel. Um, well, in a couple of years, you won't you won't be banned anymore because I'm because I'm the forgiving sort. And I also believe, like I said, I believe in you know, I mean, there's a lot you know, there's a lot of different people that of a lot of different ages, a lot of different circumstances that watch YouTube. So it could be any one of a number of things why why you decided you needed to yell at me that day. doesn't excuse it but maybe you've learned since then anyway there's no longer time fun it's time to end it oh yeah well the thing is yeah yeah um if i were to play arc anymore i would have to go on official and if i went on official the grind is such on on arc official that i would uh that i would have to make that my sole game that i i would have to play and you know YouTube content creators have to expedite things in a manner that um, that allows them to make content a lot of content over the course of time. So it's really super difficult for them to to do a decent amount of videos in a small amount of time on an MMR RPG or on on a game like Ark that uh, is super grindy. There's a reason why Wildcard ups their official rates to times two and times three. It's because times one is stupid. It should never have been that way. They constantly have uh, you know, between times two to times six rates, depending on the version of game you're playing. Like if you're playing, um, uh, is it, ex is it ex not Extinction? What's it called? Where you, you have 30 days in the game? Before the meteor hits, that version of the game, that's times six on their gather rates. You know, small tribes is like times two or times three. Depending on the version of the game you're playing, it changes. But it's never times one, ever, anymore. Anyway, hey, Handika, Abakabar. You have therapy because of your leg? Well, I hope your leg's doing better. So Handika, my my uh, my wife uh, t told me yesterday that she wants me to make uh, bumbu fish. And you guys don't know what bumbu is. It's a it's a it's a seasoning basically. My wife gets these Indonesian pa or food packets um, from her sister, and um, gives her a little bit of taste of home, and so. And I, I, I'm the one that cooks in the house, so, for the most part. So I gotta learn how to make boom-boo fish. Don't know what that is. I'll have to look it up.
You've always felt that games shouldn't be uh, anything like uh, but a chore. Grinding games uh, get stuck in the uh, avoid the uh, end game boredom, right? Like, um, like life is life is futile. The MMO, right? Um, it's you know, I I made a series out of that on how to do the uh, certain things, and while people were still playing the game, uh, those how tos uh, uh, did okay. But once you get to a certain point then um just not worth it actually they did a pretty good job about about making it a little bit easier to progress in in life is futile but um it's just out of date so on tuesday we will be uh, we will be playing this new mmrpg uh and this uh closed alpha or beta so we're gonna see I'm always looking for, uh, that's another thing, is I'm always looking for a, a, you know, an MMORPG where the developers actually have the foresight to give a single player a chance to make it an enjoyable experience and make it worth your money if you're going to buy it. And that's what this journey next week is going to be all about, is me exploring that game as a single player. And let me, if, 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 if enough of my community, if any of my community, not enough, if any of my community actually get into the playtest, talk to me, tell me. And uh, uh, just because I'm going to be doing a single player thing doesn't mean that we won't get we won't get together uh, because if it, there may, it might become it might be clear that, you know, being single player is not the way to be. But I need to test it to see if it's worth for a single player buying that game when it comes out. And that's what next week's uh, live streams are all about. I got to test it. So we'll be having two hour live streams. Back to back to back to back next week. Probably three to four of them a day. I'm going to be live streaming a lot next week. Which is why I was going to take tomorrow off. Because all, all this stuff kicks off on Tuesday. But I, um, I changed my mind. We'll have at least one video tomorrow. I don't know what we'll play. But we'll play something. Oh, what? Bumbu? Handika? By the way, if anybody doesn't know, Handika's Indonesian. Um, it's, deli it's a delicious uh, dish. Fish is deep fried or like soup. We won't be doing... Uh, no, I'll bake it, Handika. We don't fry our foods in, the, in, the, in this house anymore because of uh, we're getting older and fried foods are bad for you. So I'm either so I will be taking the bumbu sauce and I'll be putting it over the fish and we'll be baking the fish. I may have to marinate the fish. I don't know. I just took it out of the freezer. So did I get all get the MREs from the cache there at the dam? What do you mean MR? No, there are no MREs in in um, in in interloper tamarack. I don't think. You're excited for the future uh, AI games that constantly change uh, NPC act, uh, adapting them to challenge you? I mean, yeah, that's going to be a balancing act for sure. The challenge is going to be for the developers to uh, uh, those type of games to balance it to where, let's say, okay, let's just uh, so, so AI adapts its its behavior to try to beat you, right? Okay. The challenge for a developer is going to be not in the making the uh, the animal the the, the enemies smarter it's going to be in making them dumber right because if it's they're too smart and they change their tactics uh, too so too much eventually the, the the player won't be able to beat them i mean realistic realistically speaking if you're going to do that i mean how how smart is a wolf anyway really you know 
maybe it'll vary. I mean, and, and any animal in the wild as it is has its patterns. Okay, we wouldn't be able to hunt wild animals at all if, if that were, weren't the case. So, you know, that sort of thing has to be factored in. That's going to be the difficult part is dumbing down the AI enough to where players still find a game enjoyable. Marinate with turmeric? I don't have any turmeric. I mean, I've got turmeric, but they're in, in capsules. We, we take that as our part of our supplements every day. By the way, I, I will say um, my knees and my elbows don't hurt anymore. I've been taking, uh, I, well, turmeric and fish oil are the two big ones. Every single day for the last six months, four months, four months. Made a big difference. Okay, so I've got enough deer hide to fix what I need. Let's see if we can grab these, grab that, grab this. Plot this down. Hides. Well, you're right. I mean, yeah, Ron, that would that would that that that's going to be really good for all creators when that happens, because um, because if 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 someone enjoys a game, and every gameplay experience is different, but the core mechanics are the same, then every YouTuber that, that or every streamer that plays a game the, the game that you like will be different. So you never know what you're going to get. So if you like the person and you like the game, then and uh, that's what creates longevity in a game. That's what like this game. This game has a certain amount of it. So it makes it a little bit. Uh, it makes it it makes it uh, more more playable because because uh, the randomness of the of the loot tables make it just different enough each and every time that at least for a while it feels you know I mean it's a game that that if you're watching it it might not be your experience you know what I mean okay Hendika see you later get well Going for Birch Park, baby. Birch Park run. Before it gets dark. I need sticks too. We gotta make some torches. 100 percenters, man. Come 
the birch. We might need this birch bark when we go to uh, to Black Rock. We'll see. Pretty dang cold over there. It's not as bad as the airfield, but still. Am I taking damage from being being in pain? I got thirty minutes left on my pain. You know what? I've got sticks back over there. I think that's good. I've got sticks in the cave. And I've got some I got some cloth, so we should be okay for torches. What's up, man? How you doing? Okay. Should be seven. We can just dump our torches right here. for that fire hardened arrows actually I've got 10 arrows that might be okay arrow wise what, what's my my bow looking like though 74 percent's good that's fine and let's grab these all right Feel this sunset cruise last night was great. Cool, man. And everybody made it off the boat that got on the boat, right? Nobody accidentally fell overboard. I don't know why they would. I'm just asking a question. Four. How many more of these do I have? Oops. We got one more. I oh, will make it. We'll, we'll make. We'll make one more here. I need more. You made it. You, you all made it. Good. Glad to hear it. I don't know what happened, officer. Nobody got max wealth. Um, all right, so let's see here. I only have one more piece of meat. I guess I might. I might want to start a fire. I might want to make some. I might want to cook some more meat. Actually, how's the sun out here? Is it sunny or no? It's cloudy. Okay. Let's see moose meat. 
cooked four. That'll be fine. That's cool. Where'd you guys go? Twenty three minutes. Wait a minute. Those tiny pieces? I guess they must have been. There we go. That's, yeah, those were small pieces. There we go. That's better. How much water do I have? Oh, I got plenty of water. There's the storm I wanted to see. If it blows tonight, we might be clear tomorrow. We're heading out directly. Are there any more meat on me? I don't think I do. Nope. Grab those. Cook one more piece. I could do a half batch of water. There we go, perfect. Okay. Let's go ahead and get our fill. You had to start playing Fallout 4 again after watching the series? Awesome. Port DeSoto. Oh, Florida. Right, 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 right. All right, we're going to spend a little bit of time here doing... Park. Hey, Siren. How you doing? And Rose Hips. Five 100 percenters. I think I'm gonna go get some more firewood. I mean, some more cloth tomorrow, and we're gonna we're gonna make a few more of these. I'm gonna need more than five. I'm at 103 pounds. But I've got a bunch, of, a bunch of food on me though. Right now I'm at 90. Every one of those torches weighs a half a pound. All right, that'll be fine. What's a blackstone, Siren? You just got done making breakfast with, uh, on a blackstone? What's that? A 
Okay, so I think I'm going to go ahead and drop that. We will grab a few of these. A few sticks. Oh, it's a grill. Gotcha, gotcha. Cast iron flat top grill. Cool, man. What is it? Uh, it's gas, right? Obviously, it's gas. Or is it wood fired? Point one three, point one three. So, let's see, torch takes three ounces. Or point three seven, so I can make. Ah, I've got plenty. We're good. Propane, cool. You can cook a, a pound of bacon in one go. I believe it. Of course, I mean, I I I don't cook bacon like that. After working in the restaurant industry for so long, I just take my bacon and I throw it in the oven. It stays flat that way, or flatter. Or it doesn't have a tendency to wrinkle up on you. But we don't eat much bacon here anyway. Too many too much salt and um and uh it's really expensive. Five bucks a pound, six bucks a pound, something like that. So my benchmark for meats uh, in this house are um, chicken for less than a dollar a pound, pork tenderloin for two dollars a pound, two fifty at the maximum, uh, steak at four fifty a pound, which is the least amount of meat that I mean when it's size wise that we get uh, in a month, um, and. Um, Fish that can be frozen, usually white fish, in a like a frozen pat. You know, it's individually uh, quality, indi uh, individually frozen. Um, white fish usually, and let's see what it was. Oh, and and hamburger that's on sale. Okay, so I need cloth. What am I doing? I need cloth. I thought I had cloth here. I guess I don't. At least at this at this at this time in my life, we, that's that. Those are the those are the prices that I, those are the highest prices I'll pay for for for, for meat. If it if it uh, goes above that, we just don't get it. I'll wait till it goes on sale. I've got a freezer now, so I can I can I, I buy enough that I can wait. Huh. Well, I guess we're I guess we're uh, we're shredding whatever I can find. I really want to make some more torches. Let's go up here. I don't think I've cleared out this this ca this uh, this office, have we? I don't think we have. We haven't. I haven't touched this office. Yeah. So let's do that. whole entire time I haven't haven't even bothered coming up here
Detweilers. I don't know what that is. Yeah, no, I and also I buy in bulk. Like, like I mean, I the biggest piece, the big if 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 it's something's on sale, I buy the biggest piece of meat I can get. Um, well, it depends. Actually, that depends, because um, chicken is tricky, uh, because the bigger the bigger the uh, if it looks like it's a gigantic piece, you got to remember the bigger the bigger the piece, the bigger the bone. So if it's bone in, smaller is actually might be better. What the heck is there a canister for respirator for? I don't need it. We're leaving it there. But if we have to go back to contamination zone, at least I've got a respirator. Show I'm going to take that. We're going to put that down below. I didn't. I didn't search this man. Oh, grocery store in Sarasota. Oh. Also, like when you like like. Uh, most of the pork we get is uh, is tenderloin, uh, because there's no I don't I don't do pork chops I don't do anything with a bone if I can get away with it. It's a waste of money. You're not getting any any protein off that bone. Oh yeah, but there's more flavor in it. Yeah, no, not really. I can season my own my own my own meat. Thank you. Besides, a lot of what I'm using it for is for stew or soup. Because I can make a big uh, pot of soup and it'll last me for two or three days. Four days at the outside. Alright, do we have any spare cloth that is just walking around here? Take it back to Black Rock? No, I'll leave it here. I'll leave it here because we might go to the z uh, contamination zone again. Like toward the end of the run. If we get the if we get the word that um, that we're gonna have to start over, I may pump the long dark out to get the 500 day run done. If they're saying that we have to we have to start over. With this a new update? I don't see any any spare cloth. I don't think there's anything up here. Okay, no. I might just go, you know, one red after the other, the after the other, after the other. I don't see anything down here. I don't want to use too much land and fuel, but actually we got that one. Okay, well, search the trash can. Now let's go. I don't want to bust down a chair either, because it's gonna, even though I can get cloth off of it, it's gonna take me too long. I've got some more cloth over here. Wait, there might be some in the office. Maybe not. It's empty. Okay. Oh, you got a huge refund. That's cool, man. Yeah, we go to I. Uh, we've got three main grocery stores in this town, and um, and so I and I and I shop in between all three of them for my for my meats because one has the cheapest chicken, one has the cheapest uh, beef, one has or I mean I mean steak, and one has the cheapest hamburger. So, 
We literally go to three stores every month. Just so I can I can get the best deals. And you know how it goes. Everybody who's shopped for any length of time in their life, they know. Um, you know, at certain times of the, the week, I mean, the prices are, are higher or lower. We did go yesterday, though, so, I mean, that would be, it'd be in a Saturday. Oh, no, day before. Yeah, it would be in a Friday. Day before yesterday. Um, it wasn't... It wasn't ideal. Or was it yesterday we went? I don't know. I lost tra I'm losing track of days, guys. I don't think we've taken a day off in... In... What, three weeks? How long has it been since I... Since I, uh, I, 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 I took a full day off from the channel. I don't think it's been, I think it's been three weeks, hasn't it? I'm going to go down here and we're going to make our, we're going to fill our lantern before we go out there. And then I'm going to make some torches. Also, um, like I, I've been, I, I, I eat oatmeal almost every morning for breakfast. And also, I, I just, I just read on the online that evidently we had some drought in the, uh, in the oat fields. Um, like Oregon, I guess Oregon had had less water than they expected. And so, um, the price of oats is going to go up. Right now, it's six bu six bucks for a two pound can. And I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go, I'm just gonna go online and just buy 50 pounds at a time, because I go through two of those cans in a month. So, all right, I got people watching this and going, just play the damn game. Stop talking about your personal life. But that's kind of half of what this game's about, is us talking about. It. Talking about surviving in real life while we while we play a game about survival. You know what I mean? I don't do coupons because I forget about them. I forget to use coupons. I don't. I'm not a coupon guy. I just find the best deals available and I just get it. Immediately go to the uh, because we have a freezer. You know, it's only a five cubic foot uh, chest freezer, right? But I, it's enough to I, I can get. If I got a really good deal, I could I could I could store two months worth of meat in that freezer. And then we've got the one above the refrigerator, right? Because we got. Got that little that little freezer, you know, that everybody's got. But. Let's see, what are we doing here? Where's my lantern? I still have a bunch. So we've got how many now? Two, four, six, eight. I've got ten. Ten will do. I'm going to drop that. We're not going to refill that, but we are going to refill this. I already refilled it, right? Yeah, okay. So I can drop the rest of this. And then I'm going to drop the respirator right here with it, just so I don't. Fr so it's all lumped together. Because I'll space that otherwise. Where is it? Wait, where's the respirator at? Oh, you know what? I just realized it. Oh, never mind. It put it on my re it put it on my mask, so it doesn't weigh anything anymore. That's cool. So we've got a hundred percent because that was empty, that mask. So now it's got a respirator on it. Or it's got a, a a filter on it. That's great. Um, I don't know that I. Oh, you know what? Let's make a bandage. I only have three. Oh, I get it, Siren. But you know, I mean, the the thing about that is, at least if you're if you're working, you know, you're making a little bit be better money. Did I already drop the other lantern? I guess I did, huh? Yeah. Okay. Let's go. Oh, I bet you do. That's really cool. 
like I, but uh, like I can, I, you know, I, I, when it comes to like the oats, like I was saying, I can buy 50 pounds from a Canadian company and have it shipped here for like 40 bucks, less than a dollar a pound. So it's like less than, it's, it's le way, it's, it's less than half the cost of what, it, what it's going to cost me to, to, to get it in the store. And I get instant oats. So, because I don't cook my oats. I do overnight oats. Oh, I get it, Siren. If you don't have the energy or the time to, uh, to to go get the deals, then what's the overtime money uh, used for? Paying for reg regular price food. Which is inflated prices anyway. bring any steak with me god dang it i don't think no oh well it's fine we're gonna spend the night in the in the cave over here before we hit black rock so i think i'm gonna drop these rabbits and take them with us it's really warm right now so i may as well be dinner <laughs> oh, almost didn't get him I think we might have a storm coming too. He's right there on the right in front of me. Come on, make yourself be known. There he is. Ooh, I was almost inside the inside the snow. Before that wolf comes over. He's following me now. You're back to being a tech? Yeah. That's nice. I mean, especially if, it's, if you're not... If you're not um, getting stressed out, and you're not driving two hours a day and sitting in traffic, that's amazing. I mean, the only time I ever really lived in a metropolis area was in Denver, but I lived on Capitol Hill, so I rode my bike everywhere I went. I never had to really do it, do the, you know, long, there's long commutes that everybody talks about. I never had to do that. Every, I, mean, I used to always worked in the restaurant industry, so I always I got a job that was fairly close to wherever I, I, I laid my head. The cool thing about it, working in the restaurant industry is I can just pretty much, no, the money isn't the best, but um, you can always get a job no matter where you go. And you never go hungry, no matter what. 
If the world ended tomorrow, the, I, I'd be making a beeline for the for the whoever was uh, whoever was making food for everybody else, and I'd offer my services as a cook. That way, I guarantee you I would never go hungry, and I could do some good while I'm at it. So, everybody loves a cook, man. Especially if you can do it in bulk. Like every uh, every time I, I've ever been uh, on probation in my life, and it's been a few times, <laughs> um, when you know when I'm asked what my profession is and I tell them I'm in the restaurant industry, they always send me to a food bank or to a soup kitchen to do my community service. I'm like, that's cool, that's easy. Thanks for the thanks for the uh, th thanks for uh, trying to uh, teach me the easiest lesson available to me. Judge. And if I ever get, uh, if I ever go to jail for a long period of time, I'm in that kitchen, dude. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, you know, I get, ki I'll get kitchen duty, cause I know what the heck I'm doing. So, at least I'd like to think I know what I'm doing. There are those that would disagree. <laughs> okay, so uh, did I bring any firewood with me? Some. All right, let's strip these rabbits. By the time we get these rabbits stripped, it'll be dark. Yeah, and we're going to need that food. That's how it is with being a vet, a vet tech. You, uh, you may not love the work, but you could always find a job. Yeah. That you know, if I had a, if I had to give advice to anybody in this life, it would be find yourself a, a job that you can do anywhere that will be in demand no matter what. And then once you learn how to do that job, then go ahead and go do what you love because you can. You know, I mean, if you have a fallback job, you then I mean that's worth more than gold. But always suggest doing what you what you what you love or what you what you um, what you think you might love. But always have something that you can tolerate that you can fall back on. And the cool thing about the restaurant industry is I've done every job underneath uh, underneath the roof. So I don't care what job you what you need. I can do it. And I have no problem washing dishes. That's the vacation job of the restaurant business is washing dishes. And everybody loves a good dishwasher. You need them. I remember... There were times when I was when I, before I actually had a lot of experience where I resented being a, a dishwasher. I was like, I don't like being a dishwasher. It's, it's stupid. I'm better than this. And now, after 30 years of the uh, 35 years of experience in the restaurant industry, I whoops. I realize that's the job you want to have. You're still getting paid minimum wage. But there's zero stress. And they need you. And nobody else wants to do your job anyway. Because they all think they're better than, th than that. Dishwashing job, if you're a career restaurateur, is the first job you'll probably ever get. And it'll be the last job you ever have. You have an associate's degree with zero student loans owed? That's amazing. You're way ahead of the game on that one. Andrea gets it. Andrea knows. Zero stress. That's why my wife has um, uh, been at the, at the same place she's been working at for 14 years. You know, she may not be able to lift and she's not fast. And we, I mean, and that's, I'm not putting my wife down. She's just not quick because of her, her, her muscular dystrophy. 
she, and she and she can't do very much, but she can wash a dish. And uh, she got employee of the month. At you know, the only time she's ever had employee of the month before um, was uh, twelve years ago, when uh, the 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 manager who hired her gave her employee of the month, and uh, then after that manager moved on. She was stuck for 10 years with this jerk that didn't appreciate her, didn't like her, made her life a living hell, but she stuck it out and then they sold the company and they moved this guy out of there because he was not, he was not, a, he, he was not a good guy. Whoops. And then uh, the first thing the new, uh, the new district manager said was, you do a great job. I'm going to make you employee of the month. Made her feel good after 14 years, you know? Didn't mean anything. Didn't mean a damn thing. But it made her feel good. She didn't get a raise with it. She'll never get a raise. But Colorado minimum wage is so high anyway that, uh, for, I mean, per the national average, that everybody wants to come to States like Colorado, just so they can make that extra money. Doesn't really matter. We're so frugal as it is, we don't even we don't even worry about it. I mean, we worry about it, but um, we've got it down pretty much. I've just come to the conclusion I'm gonna. I, you know, I was born a peasant. I'm gonna die a peasant. At least I've made peace with it. Figuring out what you love and what you'll always love. Well, you know, I, I became, I became, I went into the restaurant industry because my stepfather was a mechanic and he, and from the time I was 12 to the time I was 14, I was forced to be in the mechanic shop. And I refused, I, after, after, after not getting paid for two years, I was like, screw this, man. I'm not doing this anymore. I finally got wise, and at 14, I got a job as a dishwasher at, at a Ramada Inn. It was my very first restaurant job. Oh, shit. Guess what I forgot, guys? I forgot our bedroll. I forgot our bedroll. We have to go back. All right, we're leaving that stuff here. We got to go. I don't have a choice. Let's grab a torch, I guess. Actually, that'll that'll boil out. Hang on. Sitting here talking to you guys, and I spaced it. Whoops. We'll go a little longer today, cause I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm not gonna, like, not get anything done. Personal acknowledgement of good work can go a long, long way. Yeah, it does. She was all kinds of excited when she came home, and of course, you know. You don't say, well, it didn't mean anything. Because it, me it did mean something. It meant something to her. And her, and her and her crap manager is no longer there, so... Hopefully... But see, they, they, they understand that, um... That, you know, she's been there for 14 years and she can wash a dish. And they, I mean, that's the most... That, one of the most, if not the most important, um jobs in the restaurant is the dishwasher you try to make food with dirty dirty dishes you're not going to get very far that's for sure hang on did i drop that uh, those hides i did okay and i ate all that food right all right
All right, well, we've got a blizzard, so. I don't have any coffee either. If I need to, I can use a stem. But I'd rather not have to. Sucks I forgot that bedroll. But at least we remembered it before we got the black rock. And I'll grab a piece of meat while I'm over there too travel meat pocket jerky pocket bacon so I uh, watch critical role and uh, in, in, in campaign two one of their characters used to talk about pocket bacon they're like and I, and I started thinking about it I'm like I wonder how many people Go to a continental breakfast at a at a hotel, and literally do that. Pocket pocket the bacon and snack on it during the day. Can't hardly do that. You can't make you can't really do pocket scrambled eggs, but pocket bacon's doable if they make it crispy enough. felt like we're working a job yeah I mean if you if you if you can be lucky like that that's good Black Rock today. Although I didn't expect to make it to Black Rock today. I only expected to um, to get ready to go to Black Rock. So you have a pair of cobalts. Are they NPCs? I take it. sure I'd want a couple of drunk cobalts in my party. Isn't the rule isn't the ruling that once you once you get drunk you, you have disadvantage on uh, on dexterity checks?
Oh, they're players. Really? You've got Cobalt players? That's cool. I take it they're the Cobalt variants. What's the new, the new 5e rule? Is one of them a sorcerer? Or do you, you have an Erd, uh, uh, which is a wing Cobalt? I had a, a, a briefly I had a character that was called uh, Marcus the Erd. He's a wing Cobalt. I use as an NPC in a in, in a just a, a one shot that I did for one of for uh, one of the guys who used to come around here all the time. When I was looking to, to DM a group, and then I I realized how much work it was going to be. I just didn't have time. Although I know I, I know D and D rules well enough that I that, that and there is a there is a, a a budding market for for dungeon masters who can actually get paid. I would never personally pay for a dungeon master myself, but it is a job. It's a paying job. You don't get a lot of it. You don't get paid a lot, but if you don't have to. If you don't have to get a regular nine to five, it's a way to make a few extra bucks. One's a, one's a bard, a cobalt bard. That's funny. And what pray tell is your character, Miss Siren? Yeah, it's all about everybody having fun, Siren. That's absolutely. I mean, I, I I talk about the rules for you know, I just happen to know the rules just because I you know, I I just happen to know D and D. But it's it's all about the players having fun, and the DM too. The DM's got to have fun too. You're gonna do that new Vecna campaign? Cause that'd be that'd be awesome. A couple of kobolds going up against the, going up against Vecna, the Lich King, the Lich God, the Whispered One. I'm not doing anything with my D and D stuff though until until our, um, the end of the year. That's when the new Dungeon Master's Guide, the new uh, Player's Handbook, and the new Monster Manual come out with the revised with the revised monsters and revised rules. But a whole new rule set coming up. Not that you have to use it, obviously. So I did not resubscribe my my subscription to D&D Beyond. I just I'm, I'm waiting for it to see how the, what the reception is going to be like. You still have your first of D&D Monster Manual from the 1970s? Go on, go go see what it's worth on eBay. I mean, not that you would ever sell it, but if down the road. It's in decent condition. Maybe you want to gift it to somebody once you pass away. You can get the original, the original box set, uh, first edition. That's real. Uh, probably keep playing with the with the regular five E rules. Yeah. Not for sale. <laughs> I get it.
Well, I guess we're sleeping here tonight. I'm not going out in the storm again. I'm too exhausted anyway. It didn't matter. Right, let's eat that. Can't believe I had to walk all the way back. I left the toaster on, man. Oh, no, I didn't want to drink that. I do not want to drink that. I don't need that. A builder? You mean D&D Beyond? Your DM has the, uh, the, the highest tier uh, subscription. Is that what you're talking about? Because that's what I got. Because you can have an unlimited characters. Water. Yeah, you do. Yeah, it makes it really, really nice with the for the DM when when uh, when when he can see all your character sheets at, at, at you know just at a glance, just with, with, a, with just a couple button presses. And I, I'm sure you have your own dice and all that stuff, but I, I prefer digital dice. D&D uh, &D Beyond has got a good has got a good. Um, A good setup for that. I'm not forgetting anything, right? I'm sitting here talking, and I'm not. We need to be paying attention. Yeah, man, just play the game. Just play the game, man. All right, let's get to Black Rock. We'll go for a little bit longer today. I just wasted 15 minutes doing or backtracking. Last time you played D&D of any flavor and you can't spend that long? Yeah, well, here's the thing, right, um, is artificial intelligence is, is I, I went on J chat GPT and prompted chat GPT to become a dungeon master because I wanted to play a single player. Uh, I wanted to see if I could do a single player uh, game. And, um, and it wasn't great. I wouldn't recommend it. I wouldn't have recommended it a year ago. But artificial intelligence is going to get good enough where that that you it's going to have access to all the all the source material, and it should become a, a, a good enough to to be a, a dungeon master. Um, it's not. I mean, there would be some people who say it is now, but I don't think so. I've tested it. I don't think it is good enough. But give it another couple of years and uh, and watch Wizards of the Coast. Turn around and use uh, an artificial intelligence to be able to for single players to play D and D, and that's going to open up their market even more. Once they have that, because I mean, yeah, there's something to be said about, I mean, playing with a group of play people that you you know you like, you know, your friends or whatever. But there are a lot of people who want to play D and D, but they don't want they don't they they don't, they don't have any groups to play with. Like anytime you you, you look online. Um, you know, the, usually the response is, go to your local game store. They usually have weekly games. Well, what if you don't want to? What if you can't get out of your house? What if you don't want to get out of your house? What if you want to do it on your computer? There is no, I mean, I mean, no single-player Dungeons & Dragons experience um, that exists out there. That I know of. And there's a lot of people who want to play single-player. Baldur's Gate 3 is 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 the closest thing. But that's a video game. I'm talking about you know, like you know, tabletop with uh, with a uh, style with maps. Um, I mean, right now Wizards of the Coast is is working on um, a 3D model um, computer ver version and I don't know if they'll have a single player version, but if they can if they can slap an AI uh, dungeon master model in there then they can do the single player bit I'm hoping that that's what they're gonna do it's gonna it's not gonna be easy hopefully they do it well
Roll 20, yeah. That's what, yeah. The problem with Roll20 or the Roll20 games, that's one of the, 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 the places I was talking about you can get paid to be a dungeon master if you know the rules right and you have the modules. Um, but they charge $20 a session per person. And if you have a party of six, that dungeon master is making $120 for, uh, you know, for, you know, four to five hours or two to five hours, depending on, on, um, on how long their sessions are. But, you know, a group might only run once a month. What I'd like to do is I'd like to, I'd like to do one shots. I'd like to, I'd like to get, I'd like to maybe part-time DM uh, at one shots. Because then there's no commitment, there's no future commitment, you know what I mean? Because, I mean, it's fine, to, uh, I, I hate to get locked into a, you know, a, like a five-year, if I'm getting paid for it. I hate to get locked into a five-year, uh, you know, gig. Which would be nice to get paid for it, but then you got to deal with people saying, "Well, I don't have the money this month," or something came up, or whatever. But if I do one shots, and I just and I can and I can fill my roster, then I can then I can just do the one shot and be done with it. You know what I mean? Yeah, there are some there are some uh, un, uh, unpaid groups you can get in. Sure. The question for AI is: Do you get data, uh, data or lore? Um, yes. You do. Both. Is it too much to ask for both? By the way, have you seen the new Star Trek Discovery uh, article this season? I'm not going to give too much away, but they actually, they have a, they have a, uh, a Noonien Soon uh, 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 life form in the, in the most current season. Well, it may not be Noonien. It might be uh, one of his descendants. But it was pretty cool when I saw it. Great DMing takes talent. Imagination. I'm not the best at voices, but I can do it. I can do a couple. And I don't want to become that forever DM either. Like I would like to play. But if I'm going to play, I, will, I would want to put it on the channel, and that's that's the issue. Is I'm not going to waste my time. I've got to. I, I'm trying to. I'm trying to keep this channel alive, and um, and, I, and I don't. And if, if so, anything is content, right? Everything is content. So I would have to get everybody's permission to put it on my channel, and then I would have to be entertaining enough to make people want to uh, want to watch it. But. Did it start? Yeah, they're on uh, episode three. Just dropped, or episode four, I think. Yeah, they're they're like three or four weeks in. Really like Discovery. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they've done a good job. It's season five. I think this might be their last season. Pretty sure that's what they said. that much okay question is top side or bottom side guys needs to be more tournaments with team scoring system for discovered uh, secrets and time battles
Strange New Worlds is the last one I can think now. What are you talking about? Oh, season five. Oh, yeah, is the last. Yeah, okay. I see what you're saying. We're talking about two different things. Uh, the Adventurers Guild, um, Big Ron had a had a, a tournament, or maybe or maybe they're maybe they, they're just having it. There was a free module that was down. Or there was uh, there was available. And um, there's actually a point system. You know, you do this, you do that, you get points. If you don't do that, you don't do that. You get points taken away. So what do you guys think? Top side or bottom side? Of Black Rock. We'll go bottom side. I went through the top side last time. That's fine. Oh, yeah, by the way, the Fallout uh, TV series definitely kicked off um, uh, people playing people playing um, Fallout 76. My Fallout 76 videos are getting, are getting traction again from like six years ago, which is great. I don't know that it would be it would do the channel any good for me to play it anymore, but Island Papa. From Northern California, where in Northern California are you at, Island Papa? I spent about two and a half years in Northern California. How far north? Humboldt County? Eureka, Arcata? Crazy how many people are playing Fallout right now? Yeah. Yeah, I mean it's not it's not you know that much of resurgence, but it's enough I can note I notice on my on my on my analytics, so that's cool. Butte County, where exactly is Butte County? I only I only know um, way north and the Klamath Trinity uh, River area. I lived uh, for two and a half years back in the 90s. So it's like, you know, 30 years ago. <laughs> Chico, right on. Paradise, oh, right on.
Cool, cool, man. How's life treating you over there? I already searched that car, right? No batteries. Yeah, we already looked in here. Okay. Well, the reason, the only reason we're going to Black Rock today, guys, is because, I, like I said, I want to, I want to go to that that one section that we haven't been in. So we're gonna have to brave the uh, the timbers. May, we might get lucky and catch a moose today too. It's nice and warm. Yeah, it's finally getting warm here in Colorado too. I, I think we have a we might have a cold front coming in though. That's empty. Nothing there. No. Okay, this is gonna be. Now wait, what did I leave here? Did I leave something here? You started to watch me when I was playing Outlaws of the Old West. Well, thank you for that because you know what? It was people like you that actually uh, uh, instilled hope in me that I could actually do, uh, that this channel could actually do something. That was a good. It was a good time, even though it was really, really tiny back then. I'm still really tiny now, but you know, appreciate you. Too bad that game never went anywhere. You're a punk. I didn't even see him. We got to get rid of him right now. I could use the steak. And since the weather's good, let's go ahead and not only let's grab, let's uh, start a fire. Oh, well, I get, well, you know, I'll just use the torch. No, wait, no, 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 no I won't. I'm going to put that torch out. We need to save that torch. If I can use the magnifying glass, we need to. There we go. Nice. All right. Only 20 minutes, huh? Well, see if I can pull this off in 20 minutes. Actually, it'll be 30 minutes because that fire is 50% longer because of my because of my skill. It's gonna go out, but I. I Okay, at least we kept that, keep those guys off of me here. There's another wolf on its way, I just know it. Let's go inside and get warmed up. Cool California, nah, -uh. oh, we have, we have meat. That's cool. There's, there's, a, there's actually a, a California town named Cool. That's cool. Hippies, man. Freaking hippies. I am that guy, though. Or at least I used to be. For the longest time. Hey, cooked meat. Let's go ahead and strip this rabbit. Wait, what? Was there nothing in that rabbit? Silly rabbit tricks are for kids, man. He must have eaten the whole thing. I tried to. I did it. Did it say it? I did. There wasn't anything to harvest when I picked it up. Must have been, huh? That's fine. No worries. So. Uh, I don't have any arrow shafts with me, so we're going to have to deal with that. Well, Hax is at 100. Never mind. I don't need that. I can drop that. Is a dude lighting a J? Is it really? That didn't surprise me in the least. I 
Was weed California too? Yeah. Well, I, hey man, like I like when I was in Humboldt County, that was back when camp, the campaign against marijuana production was in its heyday. As I've, I've, I've mentioned this before on the channel. Um, here we are, we're tired. I think I'm going to cook some food because I don't think I'm going to be going anywhere right now. Hang on a second. Let's grab some firewood. We'll get a barbecue going. Anyway, um, and so, I mean, this is, this is times when, um, you know, the National Guard was called out. They'd fly above people's houses. Raid people's homes. Women and children at gunpoint. There we go. I mean, just like any other drug raid. But they just would go to from house to house to house to house to house. Probably make some birch bark tea too. There we go. How much water do I have? I should probably make some more though. We'll do two batches of, of meat. Go. Two hours and seventeen minutes left. We do a full batch of water here. It's good to be good enough. Actually, you know what? Nah. I can do another batch. It's fine. I got the time. May as well. Backup water is backup water. We're going to come back this way anyway. Yeah, we're good. Perfect. I've got 100% torches, so I don't really care about these. Come on. I'll keep, I'll keep that one, though. Yeah, weed legal in California. It is. Is it, is it, is it is. Yeah, well, you know what? We don't have any books to read either, and I've got some time, so can we fix anything here? I don't have any cloth, do I? I don't need to fix that. Probably could have fixed my pants, though. Oh, look at this. Forgot I had that on my person. We're getting rid of it. I don't need it. Let's see if we can fix one of our pieces of clothing here. This, these pants are 93, 78, 78. Uh, I guess we're going to go... Let 
fix that. That's fine. Oh, I was going to make birch bark tea and I didn't do it. Oh, well. We're fine. Oh, I have three made still. That's good. I guess we're going to just chill out. I could break this stuff down. Get some firewood. And then... I think I've got a... Yeah, I've got a whetstone on me. Cool. Huh. see here. Guess we're good. Still 100 pounds, but let's drop those two. So I'm still going to be over. We're going to drop most of our meat, though. In the morning. Glaucoma should be extinct by now. That's funny. Okay. Well, we can sleep for two more hours. Drop that, drop that, and then keep this piece. And you want look what's my carry weight? 91 and a 99, so we'll get that. And give me exactly half, and then we drink a small bottle of water if I can find a small one. That didn't really matter, it's fine. Have I tried and tried it? Yeah, Island Papa, I've got a I've got a I've got a series. Of the uh, or the early access, I haven't done anything in a while, but we we have played it. I've got uh, numerous. I've got a I've got a playlist. It's on the channel. I've got a section in the, um, on my channel that's uh, playlists. So if you go to the go to that, you can scroll through there. I've got hundreds of playlists, but uh, it should be fairly close to the. Should be like no more than like twenty down the list. But yeah, because it's, it's been kind of recent. So yeah, we, uh, we do. I have played it. All right, let's get ready. Let's go. It's foggy. I don't like it when it's foggy. We're waiting. It's too early in the morning. We're going to wait. Been a ton of updates since it's been released. I saw that, yeah. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get it into rotation here before too long. This next week, though, Island Papa is, um, I've got two games that are, that are brand new. Well, one's an alpha test that I've got, to, I'm going to play for a full seven days. And then we've got another game that's coming out the same day on Tuesday, um, that we're going to check out an hour before the other game, uh, launches. I've got one at 5 a.m. Pacific time. This w this one game comes out, and then the alpha play test for this MMO is going to be coming out. Is going to start at six, so I'm going to be playing an hour or two of that first game at six a.m. my time on t on on uh, on Tuesday, and then we'll play it for an hour or two depending on how it feels, and then I'm going to go and we're for the rest of the day we're going to be playing in two hour increments. Or two and a half hour increments somewhere in there. We're going to be uh, play, uh, documenting the single player experience in this MMO, and it's an alpha play test. So, so the 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 game is called Bellright. That's going to be at six a.m. 
And then at 7 or 8 a.m., what's the other one called? Somebody help me out with that other title. I my brain, I got a brain fart for some reason. Oh, PAX Day. That's what it is, PAX Day. Still foggy. There we go. That's better. Let's get out of here. So uh, Tuesday is going to be a long day. We're going to have. I'm going to. I'm going to be playing. Uh, I'm playing Bell Wright for a couple of hours to start, and then, um, and then we're going to be playing Pax Day in two-hour increments for at least six to eight hours. So it's going to be either an eight or ten. It'll be, so it'll be four, to, four to five live streams on Tuesday. And I could make them. I could make them. Um, Or longer than that, but it seems like for replayability or rewatchability, like about two, two and a half hours is about the, the optimal time. If I want people to watch it, ahead, watch it, you know, in the future. And Lazarus might show up, but yeah. There's a guy with a big, a big guild that, that uh, named Lazarus. That is going to be playing with his people. So what we might do is I might document the, the single player experience for the first few days, and then we might jump over and and see if Lazarus wants to let me in on into his guild, so I can see what the guild experience is. That way I can get a, a more rounded idea of whether or not it's viable for a single player to purchase that game when it comes out. Am I going this way? This is the way in, right? Hey, bunny rabbit. Is this it? I don't remember. I don't remember how to get uh, get through here. Hey Donovan, a four plus four, uh, a four plus hour. Yeah. Well, when I played, um, when I played, what do you call it? Um, Baldur's Gate three. I was doing 10 to 12 hour live streams, right? And only one of those b busted five, or a thousand views. I think there might be it might be more now, but I'd like people to be able, if they want to watch it, I'd like them to be able to because it's going to be a, a little while between. This beta and uh, and and the full release, well, the early access release. So there'll be some time for people to catch up on the on the series, but I want it to be you know digestible. The only downside is that, uh, that anybody who's watching me live is going to have to jump between live streams. But it's just I can't it can't be helped. But I everybody was saying it's pretty easy for them to do that, so that's 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 a route I'm going to go. And if that model works, then we'll continue to do that. Is it this way? Yeah, it is. Unless I, unless I just turned myself around.
Cooper's pass north. Uh oh. Windy, windy. This is not great. It's going to put out my torch. Maybe. Tough to keep up with me in the long, in the long streams, but you've, I think you've kept up pretty well. You have. The article, you're always here, dude. And I don't know how you can do everything you do and still come hang out with us. I don't know. I don't know how you do it. I'm assuming you have an earbud and you're listening to me on your phone and you're pulling your phone out of your pocket and typing whenever you, you want to say something. And you're living your life while you're doing it. Is that, is that how it is? Is that what, is that what you do? That's what it feel, feels like you do. Okay, that's all. That's enough of that, I guess. So we have a little steak. Did I get it all? No. 81 calories. What's wrong with you? No, you're good, but you multitask. <laughs> yeah. You say that. You're better at it than I am, that's for sure. I can't hardly walk and chew gum at the same time. Or talk and play a game at the same time. Is that a wolf? No, that's a rabbit. You pop it in your butt and get started? Yeah. Right on. the cabin so I guess I wasn't I wasn't too far off I mean we did have to go and um, and backtrack because I forgot my bedroll but you know I didn't think I was gonna make it to Black Rock this episode but we're gonna make it to black rock and next ne i think next next episode will be us in black rock we'll just get to black rock and then and that's where i'll leave it because i think that's a good spot to leave it your bone conducting headphones what the heck is that Turn your ear into a tuning fork. What's going on? That's what it. That's what it, it sounds like to me. You're up for your puppy being dumb. Oh, that's a running joke. By the, by the way, it's it's not really a, a great. It's not a funny joke, but we have to make light of the situation because we're sad. But I. But every time we go to the grocery store now, I I, I turn to my wife when we get to that that, that certain section of the store and I go. Honey, do we need um, dog food? 
The first time, she didn't think it was funny. This last time, at least I got a smile out of her. I mean, the first time, she said something to the effect of, yeah, for you. Because I was in the doghouse for making that joke. If you guys don't know, we lost our we lost our dog uh, to cancer uh, not or not too long ago. Cat tails. It happens. Yeah, it does. I mean, you know. If you get ten, if you get a decade out of a pup, you're lucky. And we got, we got a little bit more than ten from him. You know, he was a big dog. Big dogs don't last more than a decade, maybe twelve years, thirteen years, if you're lucky. When you both say yes, it's time to go looking. Yeah, no, yeah, we're not ready yet. not going that way that's for sure whoops what did I do I think I made a wrong turn at Albuquerque, yo. Time to drink some of that birch bark tea. We stuck out here in the in the in the cold for a minute. I don't know about that, Ron. I don't know about it, buddy. So what are you saying that Facebook lost a bunch of uh, advertisers and and YouTube got them? Is that what you're trying to say? Okay, we got a wolf across the across the rope bridge here, up to the right there. In fact, I can't read chat while I'm walking across this, so bear with me. There we go. Raggy. Should have made that left turn at Albuquerque. That's right. It was funny. Um, I was why I, I I caught uh, just a just a clip off of um, the Angry Joe show. You know, he does reviews on video games, and he's not much younger than me, right? But he freaking. Um, he was talking, I forget the name he was talking about, or game he was talking about, but he was like, you know, I didn't like that game because it, it was like, you know, left turn at Albuquerque, they made that, con or that, that joke left turn at Albuquerque, and no, none of the young kids will like, or will understand what that means. I'm like, so? Because you don't understand a joke, doesn't make it any, any less of a joke. You gotta get out of that place. Room 
zoom, zoom, zoom. This is the way out, right? I'm freaking cold, man. I don't remember going into this truck. Nope. Companies have a class action against Facebook for billions and it's making YouTube nervous. So they're making sure that the numbers are there. Oh, I don't know. I don't, like I said, I don't know anything about that. Why am I fighting a blizzard now? This is not cool. Uh oh. Not good. Not good. Hypothermia risk is at 50%. Uh, all right, nope. We're not doing that. I don't know if I can swing this, but we're going to see. Hang tight. I don't think it's a sheltered though. It's gonna be a do or die type of thing. I'm gonna do two hours there. Got it. There we go. We got it. The mixture of the fire and my bedroll and we, we warm ourselves up. But I had to use both. It's okay though, we're good. Uh, we'll go ahead and sleep for an hour, I guess. Just got to know what to do. Okay. The blizzard's still raging. I'm going to cross my fingers here and see. We got that wolf right over there, so it's still 19 degrees, huh? Is that really right? No, here we go. 2032. Yeah, let me see something. Come on, stop. I need this blizzard to stop. Let's go over here and see if we can pick up some more um Hey Cyrus, there's always a live stream. What are you talking about? Not always, but yeah. Welcome, welcome. Oh, what? I didn't see this guy. Hang on. This might be actually better. This might actually have a better chance of being sheltered than the other one. Let's go gather some sticks. I have some. How many sticks do I have, actually? I only got two. an hour. I don't know if I can slip this in here or not. Sure can. Come on, I saw it. There it is. Oh, 
Okay, I think we're good. We're gonna be good. Survive that storm. Okay, let's eat and drink. Truck, truck goes boom. Oh yeah, that would suck. That'd be funny, but it would be terrible. Three hundred and thirty days, and he freaking dies. Three thirty-three. Hey, three thirty-three. Nice. All right, so I think I'm just gonna sleep here till the morning. There is another over there. There's another truck with a with a shelter, but I I think we're gonna go ahead and we can't go inside, but we'll uh. You know, let's go out and see if we can find some more fire firewood, maybe. It's pretty warm. You know what? Let's do this. If I can keep this fire alive real quick. That's an hour and a half burn time. I'm going to have to use my hatchet to, for this, but that'll be fine. I don't think I really need to worry about this, though. I think it's going to be fine. I think that storm's done, spent. We're going to do this anyway. And I'm going to take some damage, but oh well. And just boop, boop, boop. That's five hours, which is actually eight hours ish. So that's, um, let's go ahead and let's make some birch bark tea. I only need, I only need, t uh, four birch bark for the night. Eight hours of birch bark. We're gonna sleep in the truck. Okay. So let's drink. That's two hours. We're gonna sleep two hours at a time. Yeah, we'll get there. We'll get there tonight.
And then, whoops. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna make one more birch bark tea if I have the water for it. I do. Whoops. So we've got this fire going for another, uh, looks like three hours or so. Actually, you know what? Let's do two. Because I've got just enough, I think. I'm going to worry about water. Okay, so that's going to be... We can get we can get another three or four hours out of this. That'd be good. Yeah, the fit, yeah, level five fire starting really does make a big difference. It really does. We did I already drink that. I did. Okay, so we're going to sleep for another two hours. No, not sleep, not past time. Sleep. I'm not getting any REM sleep. That's okay. My character's doping himself up with this birch bark tea. All right. Sleep for two hours. Fire will go out. Oh, I'm not getting it. Yeah, there it goes. And it's just now getting light, so we should be able to do one more batch of birch bark tea. And sleep for another two hours. It's at 32 degrees, just barely. So hopefully that yeah we so hopefully we should we should still stay warm even without the fire okay boy it's just a, a game of inches a game of minutes we're fully rested we are we have our bonus we um we could use a little bit of food but we're good on water right now i can, I can just top my water off right here that's it's going to matter we'll do that in the next episode and the next episode guys is going to be black rock so yeah, that's going to be that. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take um, I'm going to take about an hour. Um, we're going to come back with something else. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to do. I don't know what. I, I, there's one or two games I'm, I'm going to play. I'm, I might play Astro Medica again. But anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and I'm, I'm, I'm going to come back. Uh, I tell it. Uh, it'll be a couple hours. It'll be a couple hours. I got to take care of a couple things in the house. So um, yeah, uh, not at the top of the next hour, but the following hour. I'll put a I'll put a a a, a, a live stream notification up here in just a few minutes, and that way you guys can uh, know when if you want to come back, you can. Anyway, guys, in the meantime, thank you very much for coming in. Hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, give us a thumbs up, and if I've earned your subscription, don't forget to hit that bell icon for notifications. As I always say, I am my usual me, be your usual you, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you later. Bye bye.